You guys, I know I have a problem. And today I have so many great books to share with you that I got from the thrift store. Some of these I literally can't even believe that I found so many gems, so many good ones. I am so excited to share them with you. So if you guys want to see what I got, then stick around. If you are new here, then first I just want to welcome you. This is my channel, Rolling with the Rouses. My name is Sarah and I have five kids and we homeschool and I love to share content on homeschool, motherhood, my faith in Christ, book hauls, obviously I have a problem. And I like to share uh, curriculum reviews, book reviews, and stuff like that. So if you like that kind of content, then make sure to subscribe below and be sure to click that little bell so that you're notified when I upload new videos. I didn't pay more than 75 cents each for these books, but most of them I either paid 32 cents or 37 cents. Now, the thrift store that I go to, if you've been following me, you know, half off Mondays, okay? So I'm pretty sure this is from three different times I've went and two of the times were on a Monday, so they were half price and one of the times um, that I went was actually the day, it was July 5th, so I ended up getting a 15% off my whole purchase. So let's just dive right in, and I'm not going to go in any particular order, I'm just going to start grabbing the books and sharing them with you. But I probably will share the children's books first, and then I will share like chapter books. So this first one that I'm gonna share with you, I, I'm so excited to have found this. A while ago, I had got from Book Outlet a little like board book of Mother Goose rhymes, and my daughter, my two-year-old, loves that book. Like she has these rhymes memorized. She loves them so much, and it's just the cutest thing when I hear her just singing the little like Mother Goose rhymes. I don't know why, it just melts my heart. Like I just love this. My mom heart so happy. Anyway. Uh, I found this treasury of Mother Goose rhymes. You guys, I paid 37 cents for this. It is a little beat up, but for the price, I'm gonna take it. And I'll probably put some like tape on it. But you guys, oh my gosh, I'm so excited. And if I can, I will try to link as much as I can in the description box, like always. So be sure to check that out. But you guys, Aren't these darling? Oh my gosh. The pictures in here are so cute. And they're just like, obviously, Mother Goose rhymes. So I am super excited that I found this. Okay, so another thing that I found, I actually found this for my daughter, my two-year-old. And it is this, and it's called Stories for Two-Year-Olds. So I was like, oh, this is perfect. I'm going to get this for joy and we have read some of it and she really likes it she actually sat through i usually only read board books to her um because you know toddlers <laughs> but she does like she I, I gotta say for the most part she is pretty delicate with books i mean not always she has ripped a couple but for the most part anyway this book just seems so sweet we read two of the stories in here so far and they were pretty cute and I don't know, I just think this book looks super cute. So the next thing that I found, you guys, I can't believe that I found this, especially because my mother wanted to buy me this whole collection. And um, then I found it at the thrift store and it is Dick and Jane. So this one is called Dick and Jane and Friends. Like I said, my mom grew up on these and oh my gosh these are just so darling look at these pictures my mom would just rant and rave about these she wanted to buy me the whole set and i am so excited i don't know why i didn't say yes uh but i'm excited that i found these these are so cute so this next book is called the random house book of fairy tales and you guys this is pretty cool because you can see here in the table of contents that you know all look at all these fairy tales and they're by a a bunch of different people um, and I don't know I just thought this would be nice to have as our collection and this is just a little bit of what the inside looks like so this next book that I got is I want to be just like Jesus 
this is talking about character. And if you watched my, like, what are we doing for Bible for our homeschool year, you will know that we are focusing a lot on character. And the back of this book says, help your little ones model good character by inspiring them to be just like Jesus. So what made me really get this book is I opened up here to the first uh, little one and it says Jesus and it says Jesus was dependent and then it has a scripture um, and then it kind of talks about how Jesus is a superhero and then you go to this page and it says Jesus in me have you ever ridden in an airplane you probably couldn't see the pilot flying the plane but you could still hear the pilot's voice in the same way you can't see God but you can depend on God to guide you his word is true so i don't know why i was just like i'm getting this i loved that right there i just feel like that was such a good analogy of with the airplane pilot like you can't see him but we're depend like we can depend on him to get us to our destination like that's the same way with god right so i'm so excited that i found this because i thought it was really cute okay you guys so do you remember these when you were little? I mean, kids probably still look at them nowadays, but I these were my favorite books growing up, I feel like. I loved them. So I found this one, I Spy Gold Challenger, and then I found uh, the Year Round Challenger. So I was super excited to find these because I like doing these. My kids love search and find books, so those were fun to find. This next book right here is called Toilet Time for Girls, and I don't think I've ever read a potty book, believe it or not, to my kids. I can't remember. Maybe I have, and I'm just like, you know, I've had so many clothes together that I just can't remember, but uh, I really don't recall. Maybe, maybe once. I don't know. Anyway, uh, I found this, and I thought this would be cute for Joy, and it even has this little... I usually don't like noise books, but I don't know. I just thought she would love that and have a kick out of it. And yeah, I just thought she would really like this book and she does. Okay, so this next book here is called What Nick and Holly Found in Grandpa's Attic. So this book is so cool because it's about, obviously, these two um, kids and they go to their grandpa's house and they end up going in his attic and seeing all this stuff and the grandpa uses all this stuff to explain the names of jesus so this would be such a great book to do as an advent i bet maybe it even is supposed to be an advent but like this would be a fun countdown to christmas book so i am super excited that i found this because we will definitely be using this this year Okay, so then this next book I'm really excited about. I'm pretty sure that I shared in my last thrift haul video um, the normal book to this. Like, what would you call it? The unabridged version, I guess it would be called. And I cannot believe I found it in a children's book. And I really like it. I'm so excited. I love to be able to have books be, you know, for my little ones to sit through and look at the pictures as well. So this was so fun and it is The Pilgrim's Progress. So obviously it's a retelling, but I am super excited. These pictures are absolutely gorgeous and I, you guys, I just feel like these are such gems to find. And what I like about this one is it's almost in like little mini chapters, if you will. And I feel like I could read this over a course of a time with my kids, either a week, two weeks, maybe even a month, and just read one little section a day. And I don't know, because these are longer uh, paragraphs and stuff like that for a children's book. And yeah, I don't think my kids would definitely not sit through this whole thing, but if I took it into sections, they definitely would. So I was so excited to find this. I was like, no way. I didn't even know they made that. Okay, so the next book I got is an Us Borns book uh, on dogs. And I have another one like this. Actually, I might have two. I think I have the Rainforest and like the ones about butterflies. And I just love these books, you guys. They're just so sweet they have nice i like that it's a mixture of illustrations and 
photographs, and then it just has little bits of information in here about whatever the topic is. And for instance, it's dogs. So I was really excited to find this. I love finding these books. So these are normally $5 and I paid 32 cents for it. Okay, so this next book I found is National Geographic uh, Kids. And this one is on ants and you know, it's just a natural geographic book. This is a level one book. So I like this, um, just some little facts beautiful photos love it this next book is pretty cool I have never heard of these and I was so excited to find this I'm gonna see have to see if there are more in this series or if this is a series but this is a language builders book and it is called Nathan and Nicole learn about nouns so what a fun way to learn about nouns, you guys. Oh my gosh, isn't this so cute? I love the illustrations in this. And I love that there's <laughs> nouns involved. Like it specifically focuses on nouns through storytelling. So I love that. I do have one more picture book to share with you guys that I totally forgot about. And I cannot believe I found this there either. Like, I was like, no way. And it still had the CD in it. So it was even more exciting. Um, the dust cover is a little ripped, but who cares, okay? And it is the story of the orchestra. You guys, I cannot believe I found this. I'm pretty sure I've heard so many people talk about this book, but oh my gosh, I can't believe I found this for 37 cents. I am freaking out. So I guess this just kind of teaches you about the orchestra. And then there's a CD that goes along with it. Um, I guess that has music. I don't know, you guys. I am so excited. I am so excited. So it does talk about composers too. And then each of the different... Um, uh, instruments this is so much fun so we will definitely be incorporating this into our homeschool somehow I don't know how but it will be fun to do I am so glad I found this gem isn't that exciting <laughs> so the next thing that I uh, that I'm gonna share I kind of got for myself um, but I found the tales of the Gr brothers Grimm and I don't know I just I don't know if, you know, I think I paid 75 cents for this and it does have some pictures in it. I could probably read these to my oldest child, uh, but I just kind of wanted to read about fairy tales, you know? So I thought I would grab it for 75 cents. So there is that one. Then you guys, I cannot believe I found this. I found this and I paid 32 cents each for these, okay? And I have been looking into this math curriculum and I couldn't decide if I was gonna do it or not. And then finally, I was like, okay, I guess I'm gonna do it for Nathan. And then you guys, I found this at the thrift store and I feel like, I feel like this was like a confirmation that I should use it because I feel like God has already given me a couple other confirmations, but I was still not sure. And then I found this and I was like, okay, maybe this is what we're going to be using for math. Um, and you will know that already if you've watched my um, curriculum picks for my son, my oldest. But I found this Matthew C set at the thrift store. I can believe it. 32 cents. You guys, these are like $44 brand new. Okay. And I don't even think this test one is even written in, or if it is, it's barely written in. And this student text, it doesn't have too much writing. So I could either A, erase it, or um, I know that Matthew C has like a ton of extra worksheets in it. So it might like I think there are enough worksheets in here for my son to practice and it not really be an issue that some of the stuff is done so I am so excited we won't be using this one this year but I was like I'm excited that I found that I really can't believe I found that <laughs> so this next book that I found is a classic collections of black beauty and what I like about this is it has illustrations in it you guys I really I love illustrations 
I'm a sucker for illustrations. I love to look at pictures. My kids love to look at pictures. I feel like they have a higher attention span when there's pictures in the book. And I just love this. So I was excited to find this beautiful book. And then I also found this, uh, The Fables of Aesop. And I think I paid 75 cents for this one, but I don't know, I got it. I was like, it's, actually I might've paid 37 cents. I can't remember. I either paid 75 or 37 cents. Um, but yeah, I was excited to find this. It is a little bit falling apart, but I mean, for the price, you can't beat it. Okay, so this next book that I found, I was super excited about because something that I really wanna teach my kids is apologetics and theology and just teaching them why we believe what we believe. And you know, from all the wrong teaching that I have came out of, I really want my children to have a good solid foundation. And I was so excited to find this book and it is called God's Answers to Tough Questions. You guys, the first question in this book is, if God created the world, who created God? And this is stuff like my kids ask me. So I am so excited to have this resource here. But the only thing I guess I don't really like about it is I don't think there is like scripture references, but I feel like I could probably find in the Bible where it's located myself. Um, so, I mean, I do like this though for a quick reference to answers. Okay, so the next book that I found is The Sign of the Beaver. Um, I've heard a lot of good things about this. Uh, I also found this one called Let the Circle Be Unbroken, and I guess this is the sequel to Roll of Thunder, Hear Me Cry, Hear My Cry. And I actually found that book one of the other times that I went to the thrift store. So that's cool that I found the sequel. Then I found this magic tree house tonight on the Titanic, which was pretty cool to find. And then I also found Civil War on Sunday. Then I found a couple of who was and what was books. So I have who was Milton Hershey, which is fun. Then I found what was Pearl Harbor, which will be on. And then I found what was Hurricane Katrina. So I love finding these books, you guys, and for the price, I love it. And then the last thing that I found is a series and I can't believe I found these. I'm not sure the order that they go in because I've never read these, but I found uh, Beverly Cleary, The Mouse and the Motorcycle. I found Runaway Ralph, and the last book I found was Ralph S. Mouse. So I'm so excited. I found so many good books. I can't wait to go back. I know I have a problem. <laughs> but I can't help it, you guys. It's like, how could I say no when it's so inexpensive? I mean, I probably paid maybe less either ten dollars no more than ten dollars for all these books like I don't even know how many I showed you and I'd have to calculate it up which I'm not doing right now but I don't think I paid more than ten dollars for all of these books which if you could see this stack let's see if I could pick it up I don't even know man you guys <laughs> look at them all wow so those are all the books that I found the last couple times I went to the thrift store. If you guys enjoy these videos, please make sure to give it a thumbs up. It helps my channel when you guys like and comment on my videos. As always, sounds like my kids are screaming, so I'm gonna have to wrap this up. As always, if you have any questions, leave them in the comments. I will leave, I will try my best to remember to leave all of these in the description box below. So if you want to buy them, you can. And if you like content like this, make sure that you subscribe and I'll see you guys in the next video. All right guys, have a blessed day.